back with another video for you today and I'm excited about these three new fragrances from the house of Louis Vuitton. These are the Le Colognes that were just launched a couple days ago, inspired by Southern California sunshine and their fragrances to wear in the summertime. I'm going to tell you all about these three fragrances, so if you want to find out about them, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed to this channel, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I've been a fan of the Louis Vuitton fragrances. They're great, great quality luxury designer fragrances. Not necessarily full-on niche, but they are sort of niche stylings, especially when the men's collection was launched. Uh, um, last year, last spring, and then they also have the Ombre Nomad, which was um, a more of a Middle Eastern exclusive, I guess is what they were saying, but now they're carried at all the stores. So these three just came out inspired by Southern California. Artwork is created by an artist from LA uh, by the name of um, Alex Israel. So I was very, very curious about this because I live in California and I love colorful uh, packaging and design and I also love freshies and uh, these are, well two of them are really really good. One of them, nah, it's okay. So we have three of them but before we talk about them I want to give you the pricing. 100 ml bottles go for $250 Either, even though they're called Les Colognes, uh, they're EDP Eau de Parfum concentration so they are intense fragrances but they're treating them like they're colognes where they're fresh and easy to wear. Created by uh, Jacques Cavalier, the in-house Louis Vuitton perfumer, who's been creating every single fragrances uh, for them. And they have many fragrances now. They launched with seven, then another one came out was an eight, and then uh, another one w uh, came out for women that was nine, the five men's and then the Middle Eastern one, and then now three more. So they have tons of fragrances in their collection now. I really love the colorful bottles here because I was really excited and um, it's interesting also when I bought these before I bought them I smelled them at the Louis Vuitton boutique in San Francisco I think it was a different order of likes now I'm changed after I've been wearing them a little bit and I'm like can you guess which one's my favorite so this one is called afternoon swim and this is a, bo a box for it it's beautiful design work uh, as you can see uh, they've got the waves of course California is right on the coast the Pacific Ocean and you've got to have um, that uh, design there and then you have number two it's cactus garden and I love the design work on this one as well you've got the desert mo look and everything the cactus of course I've got, I love the little car in here and uh, yeah, so that's that's a cute one. And then Sun Song, and that's this one. Um, this is pretty straightforward, very simplistic uh, compared to the Cactus Garden one. So I'm gonna tell you about uh, the notes. I've got a cheat sheet here because I'm just uh, testing them now. With Afternoon Swim, you've got Bergamot, Mandarin, Orange, Ginger, Ambergris, and then with Cactus Garden, Mate, Bergamot, Lemongrass, Incense, and then with Sun Song, you have uh, lemon, bergamot, neroli, jasmine, and musky notes. So by me reading to you the notes, which do you think is my favorite? So originally, I thought, uh, when I sampled them in the store, these two were my favorites. Now it's shifted around a little bit since I've been wearing them. And can you guess which? So my two favorites are these two now. This one is kind of not sure about it. It's not my favorite. So with the uh, afternoon swim, the bottle is a beautiful blue bottle, and it's bluish. Obviously, it's it's uh, inspired with um, aquatic touches, but there's no real aquatic notes in here. There's that ambergris, but it is so zingy and refreshing. It's quite delicious. The the thing is, all these fragrances from Louis Vuitton, even though they smell great, they're not anything groundbreaking. It's been done before, but you know you've got that Louis Vuitton luxury touch to them. And and the bottles are really, really amazing. And the cool thing about these bottles, they're refillable. And Louis Vuitton's bottles are some of the best sprayers uh, next to Dior. In fact, same parent company, LVMH, Louis Vuitton, Moet, and Hennessy. So their sprayers are pretty amazing. So when they refill these bottles, they replace this top part and they put a new one in so that, you know, when you've sprayed the whole thing down, uh, if you get another whole 100 ml, or if it's the 200 ml bottle, then you get a brand new sprayer so that it doesn't go bad on you. So the, the, the sprayers are like this, 
really, really great sprayer. And this one is so juicy, so juicy. It does have an underlying, um, underlying um, aquatic touch. I think that's coming from the ambergris mostly, but the juiciness of the citruses is crunchy, uh, like uh, tart a little bit, not overly tart. These are like more sweeter citruses, but the refreshing qualities of them are there. That the zinginess, the zestiness of those uh, juicy citruses are right there. I would love to go to uh, an after sw afternoon swim uh, with this kind of a fragrance on. It's 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 awesome. Um, I'm experiencing more more swimming pool swimming for me. California, you know, we don't really swim in the Pacific Ocean because it's really not swimmable. It's too cold, but uh, that's awesome. It's really a great great inspiration because we have lots of citruses here in California, and you know that's captured into that fragrance. I'm gonna jump to Sun Song. And show you this one as well, and then we'll cut to Cactus Garden because this is this is my least favorite of the three, and in fact, my favorite packaging because it's got that beautiful car uh, and the cactus on the back. But I guess uh, maybe they figured out it wasn't the best. I don't know. But uh, I mean, some people will like this. It's just me. I'm not really digging it too much. So this is the yellow bottle for Sun Song, and this is all about the orange blossoms and the neroli again you know those are the notes i really really love from the citruses uh, this one goes more floral citrus this one goes more juicy citruses rather than the flowers so it depends it's a toss-up of what you like so if you like the flowers of the citrus this is the one for you if you like just the the, the actual citrus fruits then this one's for you um, but the bottle is nice it's a beautiful yellow bottle um, one thing I want to say is these are reminding me of the bottles from the Mugler Cologne collection that came out late last year. They have the five different bottles. Some of the colors are reminding me of that. But uh, I think the juices in here are um, clear. They're not necessarily this color, obviously. So again, it's the same kind of sprayer I'll show you. It sprays wonderful. Uh, and you've got that lovely, very, very refreshing. Um, See, here's what this reminds me of. Do you know uh, uh, Mugler Cologne, obviously? And then do you also know uh, the Hermes uh, Neroli? Neroli Doré is what it's called, I think. Um, that Neroli Doré comes in a yellow bottle like this as well. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of the combination of those two with a more intensity. Because even though, like I said, these are called Le Colognes, there's the depth to them, intensity to them. So it doesn't seem like they're light and transparent and um, see-through as much as uh, those two fragrances. Now, uh, I haven't really worn them too much, uh, but as far as smells go, these two are awesome. I love the two smells. This is the floral citrus, this is the juicy uh, fruit citrus, but both of them are great. In fact, I think you can layer these two together and it'd be even more amazing. Uh, and this one goes ultra soapy. So if you like soapy, clean fragrances, Definitely, like literally, it smells like an expensive, expensive soap uh, that you would pay like twenty, thirty dollars for a bar. You know those kind of soaps. That's what it smells like to me. It's really, really clean, Italian or French soap. Um, so that's what these two are all about. So that, as far as Cactus Garden goes, the bottles cool off, obviously, um, but here, and here, it smells like a. Cactus, uh, you know, cactus has, um, if you've gotten into like, um, broken into cactus and seen what's inside, there's this like gelatinous, um, gooey kind of, you know, gel in there. Um, when you, when you go and, uh, you know, get suntan and you want to put some aloe vera on, it's kind of similar. You pick that off inside there's gelatinous. That's what it smells like. It smells like jelly, kind of. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it smells like jelly or like flavored or fruit flavored jelly. It just smells like it, it's like gelatinous, like um, gooey a little bit. But there's that mate note in here, so that's why it's gone green because mate is green, and um, it's it's not my favorite. The ginger and the incense, I think. Wait, wait, no, there's no ginger in, in here. This one's all about the incense. I just think it's kind of muted to me. It doesn't smell as fresh as everything else. So personally, I think this one's going to be the, um, the doozy out of the three. I don't know. That's my opinion. But what are your thoughts if you've already sampled these? Have you tried them? Do you like these ones? And which is your favorite? Because, like I said, in the store, these two were my favorites. But now these two are my favorites. This one, I don't know what was going on with my nose. Maybe my nose was kind of like burnt or something. Or maybe too over smelled. But um, I just thought this one was really good. 
and this one was really good. And I thought this one was kind of boring. And then I started wearing them after I brought them home. I thought this was really good, and this was really good. And this one, eh, it's okay. Anyway, that's my uh, first impressions of these three new fragrances, Afternoon Swim. Cactus Garden, Sun Song, inspired by Southern California, or California in general. I think it's more Southern California to me because we don't have we don't have the cactuses and things like that. Of course, we do have the, the swimming and the the um, the sun, but in San Francisco, it doesn't really become too much uh, summer in the summertime. So if you're thinking of coming to San Francisco for the sun, come late summer, early fall, where we have Indian summer here, and you can experience the heat. Otherwise, it's pretty cool here. But I like them. I like I, I like them. Uh, I'm glad they they did something like this. I love the colorful bottles. I'm I'm happy that they're taking risks with the colorful and the unique touches of their bottles, uh, not keeping them all looking the same, uh, especially since uh, that Middle Eastern exclusive Ombre Nomad was the dark bottle. Now we have these beautiful, um, colorful, California-inspired uh, bottles. But anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this collection. Are you planning on sampling them or if you haven't if you haven't already or do you just not like Louis Vuitton fragrances? Do you think they're overpriced because they are on the pricier side for designer? Uh, but I think it's, it's pretty luxury, I think. And they're doing really good with the, the sales I hear from Louis Vuitton. Um, they sell a lot of fragrances. So anybody that has money to spend at Louis Vuitton is definitely uh, buying the fragrances and Anyway, I think they have had a pretty much a, a big success with the line. Um, it's just I think most people that have gotten into niche perfumery probably would think these are not necessarily uh, overly niche, but I personally think they're bordering niche, even though they're still designer. Um, at least that's my opinion. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this new line. What are your thoughts? Please comment down. Let's get a conversation started. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.